Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is Spec Check and Flat Top Friday <laughs> with Brandon Soriano. Yo! What's up? He didn't hide this time, no. which we appreciate. Luckily. Yeah, one day I'm going to hop behind the cases. I'm going to be in here somewhere. And then he's going to break some, and then Norm's going to get him for it. find me. I'm going to make a run for it after that. It's a good idea. Anyway. We're going to run for it. <laughs> hey, before we run away from the shop, what? we should go over this guitar. Let's do it. <laughs> this is actually a really cool guitar. This is sweet. So uh, Gibson's been hooking it up with the new guitars, and oh boy, have they been killing it. Brand spanking new Gibson Hummingbird. Ooh. Dude. So they're doing a really good job with these. I've been a big fan of the Gibson acoustics that they've been cranking out of the factory. And uh, these Hummingbirds are very, very cool guitars. Definitely no exceptions. So lots to talk about on here. A little bit of Hummingbird history to start off. So the Hummingbird first came onto the scene in 1960. And at the time, it was meant to be the number two fanciest acoustic right behind the J200. Um, that lasted only for a couple years. In 1962, they released the Dove, which was actually sort of like a mixture of the Hummingbird and the J200. But for those first couple of years, this was one of the highest end guitars that you could get from Gibson, and it was the highest end dreadnought shape, uh, because of course the J200 is a jumbo shape. So with these, this is called the Hummingbird Original, and uh, the goal of these is to sort of harken back to those early original days of the Gibson Hummingbird, wow. and I think they've just done a fantastic Gorgeous. job. Yeah, the Hummingbird is going to be a mahogany back and sides, whereas the Dove is a maple back and sides. That's one of the biggest differences. This is going to be a Sitka spruce top, and they call this on the website Heritage Cherry Sunburst, I guess sort of like a faded thing. Nowadays, you might want to call this like iced tea burst or something right. like that. Maybe a light tobacco. Whatever it is, it looks damn good. Yeah. And uh, it's a nitro finish on these. They're doing nitrocellulose. And uh, of course, a staple of the Hummingbird is the Hummingbird Design Pick Guard with your little guy right there. Uh, so classic pick guard. You've got split parallelogram inlays with the binding on the fingerboard. Little Hummingbird bird truss rod cover up there and when you turn it over there are your tuners it's a mahogany neck on this guy so that matches the mahogany back and sides um, and these models come with built-in electronics so the guitar honestly usually an acoustic that has electronics in it it can get a little bit heavy and it can sometimes deaden the resonance of the guitar I don't know what they did here but it's lightweight and it's resonant acoustically and it has electronics in it. Yeah, it does both. However they were able to do that, I'm really not sure, but honestly, it's it's not a heavy guitar. And <laughs> unplugged. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it's not a, whoa. <laughs> All the comments about they're swinging the guitars around back there. I want one, um, but not that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not the one that Brandon smashed against yeah. the back bay. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, you get a volume and a tone control with the electronics, which is very helpful. The bracing inside, very cool. It's an X style bracing and they're scalloping the bracing so if you're not sure what that means basically to keep the top from collapsing in on itself given the tension of the strings you have to have wooden braces that go across the guitar and there are all these different designs you could have an a-frame you could have an X brace you could have ladder bracing in the back whatever but scalloping the bracing is when you take that that long strip of wood and you literally scallop out the top part of the wood. So that reduces the weight and it increases the resonance um, of the guitar. The reason that not all acoustic guitars do that is because it's more expensive and it's more labor intensive. So it is a higher end feature. And those are just coming standard on these new Hummingbirds. So it's really cool that they're doing the scalloped bracing. Um, that's probably part of the reason why it's so lightweight. And yeah, so and resonant. it sounds great both ways. Yeah. And the cases are very cool. Um, the Gibson cases, classics as always. Of course, it's going to fit like a glove. And uh, inside of this, you're gonna get all of your case candy, all this Gibson goody stuff. Uh, we do have a few of these. I think we got in five of them that are all brand new. So if you like what you hear on Guitar of the Day today, give us a call, even if it's not this exact one, they're all phenomenal and you didn't pick this one for any special reason. They're all pretty No, they all sound good. They're but all But I great, just thought, so. since they just came in, and people have been loving them the last batch we got. So yeah. figured we'd try it again. Yeah, we got another batch. We've got a bunch of them here. So give us a call, and we'll help you out. And Mike's going to take it out front. And Can we see the, the back again? Because the, yeah, back the back is oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Look at that. Good cut of mahogany back there. It's crazy. So. Yeah. Whoever's picking the woods for these is doing a really good job. So 
Gibson's killing it. Let's take it out front. Thank you, Brandon. Let's do it. Thank you, Flat Jen. Let's go. Thank you, Jen. Yes, thanks. Okay, okay. Jen, woo. Right, we're out front with the brand new Gibson Hummingbird. Really cool guitar. It's in a Heritage Cherry Sunburst. We're also going through a Princeton Reverb amp. Uh, we'll turn it up in a bit, but let's uh, try it without. Let's check it out. So really nice sound, really kind of glistens. We're gonna turn it up a little bit.
So a really cool guitar, there you have it. That's your brand new Gibson Hummingbird. Uh, you can check them all out at normansrayguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Emma. See you soon. Bye. Bye. That was awesome. <laughs> that was sick. Sounds good.